This video will show you how to publish new content to your WordPress site. So the way that you want to do this is to go to your website. We're going to use rivieramayatrip.net as an example. And we're going to get into our WordPress backend by typing in the following characters. You want to type in your website name and then forward slash wp-admin. And this is going to lead you to this page where you can log in with your username and password. Now a lot of times for WordPress your username might be admin, but in this example we're going to use something a little different. So put in your username and whatever your password is. Do not click remember me if you're on a shared computer. And also if you've lost your password you can click this link and WordPress will take you through an email recovery process. So once you've entered in your username and password, just click login, and you will be taken to the back end of your WordPress install. Now, depending on the plugins and the configuration of your back end, your WordPress dashboard might not look like this, but it doesn't really matter because for the purpose of creating new content, we're only interested in posts and pages for right now. So let me show you the difference between a post and a page. WordPress posts are meant to go on your blog. So when you go here and you create a new post, the place that will show up on your website is on your blog only. So you'll see here where we have a new post, explore the differences between a Cancun or Cancun and Riviera Maya, that's a post bargain hunting for real estate in Cancun, that's a blog post. So anytime that you create a new post, it's going to show up on your blog. Now if we went down here and clicked add new and showed you how to create a new page, that would be kind of one of the main web pages on your site. So home is its own page, blog is its own page, and this is the menu bar where you're going to see all your pages listed. Any new pages that we add will pop up here. And pages are supposed to be kind of the main organ organizational structure of your site. So you'll want a blog post to come up anytime that you want to update your blog with new content, which you'll probably do pretty frequently if you've got a good blog. But pages are, are something that's, that's meant to be a little more permanent, like they don't really change a whole lot. So if you're creating a post, let's do this as an example. You go over to where your posts are in your dashboard and you click add new. And for really effective content, the best thing to do is think of a few keywords that you would want people to use maybe like in Google if they're looking for your content and you want to title your post using those keywords. So let's say that we wanted to write a post about new vacations in Cancun. The best thing that you can do is use your keyword as as the title or in the title of your blog post. So we'll do that. And then when you write your paragraphs, try to use your keywords as, you, as many times as you can without being redundant. So you don't want to stuff your sentences with like keyword after keyword after keyword. Make your content flow and make it easy for the reader, reader to read and enjoy, but definitely you want to have your keywords as densely in your text as you possibly can. So let's just write sample text for this new blog post. You can also come down here if you want and add a new category or add a new tag in order to better kind of separate your content. It's just a way to organize your content on the site. But of course we're more interested in creating a new post. So after you've entered in your paragraphs here in the text box, you can click publish. may take a minute. And when you've successfully published your post, you should see this yellow box with a hyperlink to view your post. So click view post and it's going to take you right to the post. So now I told you that a post is something that's going to show up on your blog. If we go back up here and click blog, there it is. There's the post we just created. So that's how you put a new post on your website. Now let's see what happens when we make a new page. 
So go down here to where your page menu is and click Add New. And then let's say that our new page is going to just show Cancun pictures and videos. So we'll make that our title. And you of course want to put your text down here just like you did with the blog entry. And the neat thing about WordPress is that if you hover over these little images here, you can add an image. So if we click on that, it'll take us to a little menu that will allow you to add an image. You can add video, you can add audio, you can add pretty much any kind of media to your blog post or to your pages. And you'll also see this kind of little toolbar, toolbar here that looks a lot like a word formatting bar and you can use that to format your text in pretty much the same way. Now if you look at these tabs over here you'll also see you'll see visual and you'll see HTML and unless you're familiar with HTML you don't really need to worry about the HTML tab just make sure that visual is clicked when you update a post or a page. So after you have whatever you want as far as the content for your new page goes all you have to do is click publish and the same thing will happen as what you saw happen with the post you'll get a little yellow box telling you that your page is published and you get a link to view your page and it'll take you right to the page. Now this is our new page but you can also see where your page text appeared up here in your menu bar. So you've now created a new part of your site by using the page function that has allowed you to establish entirely new page content. And when you click on it you can see what was entered into the text box. So that's how you add a new blog entry. Let's go back here and new vacations in Cancun. It's not going anywhere. It'll be there permanently unless you delete it. Or Cancun pictures and videos, our new page. So anytime that you want to add new content to your site, you can use the add post or add page functions. So let's say that you want to get rid of content. We'll go back to our dashboard here. And if you don't like a post that you've just created, or if you want to change something about it, instead of clicking Add New, go over here to where it says Posts. And then you're going to see the different blogs that have been entered in. And you just want to hover over your blog title of the blog that you want to work on and click Edit. And then it'll take you back to this screen to where you can change your content around. Or better yet, if we don't like it, just click trash and it'll go in our trash. And we can do the same thing with pages. If you want to get rid of a page or change a page, you have pretty much the same options here. You have edit, you can trash it. Let's just trash it. And so now when you go back to the site, you'll see that our page is gone and our blog entry is gone. And so you can edit any of the content on your site using these tools and it's really just that simple.